everyone. Welcome to a new episode of Crypto Tips. My name is Heidi, and today we're talking about Polkadot parachain auctions and their crowd loans. What are they? Can you make profit from it? What is going on with Polkadot? So um, first thing you should know, what are these parachain auctions? First of all, you should know they are occurring on Polkadot for the first time on November 4th. It was previously saying that it was going to be on November 11th and they have recently changed that. So that's why these videos are coming out now and tomorrow we'll also have another video on this topic. So for those of you who are wanting to learn more and more about Polkadot and these parachain auctions, these are the videos for you. November 4th, you got a couple days before they start. So what are they? Parachain auctions are a way for projects to uh, compete to be listed as one of the parachains that will be connected within the Polkadot ecosystem. Interoperability. It's what everyone's talking about, and this is how Polkadot is making that happen. So at the moment, there is a limit of 100 slots for parachains on the Polkadot ecosystem. This can be changed in the future if their uh, self-governance, if people, the community come together and vote to want to include more parachains, that can certainly be changed. But for right now, there's 100 slots available. And actually, there's 153 projects currently vying for these uh, positions. So keep that in mind. For those of you who also may not know this, Kusama is kind of the canary network or the testnet network of Polkadot. They had their parachain auctions a few months ago, and there were some projects that successfully won. And you might uh, recall that some of those projects are also now vying for the position for the parachains on the Polkadot network. So what these projects need to do to qualify this auction to hope to win an auction is they need to lock up or bond a certain amount of polka dot tokens. Uh, basically, the project that has the most tokens locked up will uh, win that auction and win that reservation for the to be a parachain on the polka dot. Uh, blockchain. These funds can come either from the project themselves or they can also be helped out by things called crowd loans. This is when you and I step in if you wanted to participate. This is how crowd loans are a way for the public to help contribute to the success of a project winning an auction for the parachains. Basically, of course, you know, the more dot that's locked up uh, towards voting towards that project, the more likely, the higher the likelihood of that project to win the auction. So uh, you can do so in many different ways. That's actually what I'm going to be covering in the very next video. So if you guys already know that you want to participate in this and you want to know how, make sure that you are subscribed with the bell notification and you can get that video when it comes out tomorrow as well. So how are crowd loans different than something like an ICO or an IEO, which is an uh, ICO is an initial coin offering or an, an initial exchange offering. A crowd loan on Polkadot is different because it kind of... it absolutely removes the incentive for that project that you're voting for, that you're putting coins towards. Those coins are not able to be spent by that project. Uh, and that's a beautiful thing because now this limits the threat of rug pulls, scam coins, um, because what happens is if your project wins that you voted for, your coins are locked up for up to two years. It could be much shorter than that. It depends on how long, how much of a time frame that project has reserved to be a parachain on the Polkadot ecosystem. Uh, it could be up to two years. So what happens after two years, you get your Polkadot coins back. That is definitely an opportunity cost and something you should take into consideration before you do participate in these crowd loan uh, opportunities. Uh, but so anyway, yeah, these these projects, they can't take that dot and run with it. They generally don't have access to it. So uh, it's a really cool way of showing people's uh, interest in a certain project without, you know, getting scammed. <laughs> What's also pretty cool with these polka dot parachain auctions is the way that they're going to determine the winner of these auctions with a backdated winner, basically. So there's a certain time frame for these auctions. They last one week. And uh, 
they're going to pick a certain time within that week time frame that they will actually determine who the winner is. Now, the reason they're doing that is to prevent any kind of last minute uh, flush of, of funds for a particular project to kind of solidify a win. So really, this is, I think, going to incentivize a lot more activity right at the start of the auction because you never know when the winner is actually going to be chosen um, within that time frame. So November 4th is an important date for that because those are, that's when these will start. And now you're probably wondering, well, why the heck would I want to do this? Um, well, first of all, if you care about cryptocurrencies, if you are a fan of the Polkadot development team, what the network is doing, what they're building, and you want to help contribute to it, this is your chance to help, you know, have your voice heard in what is going to be contributing to the ecosystem of Polkadot through participating in things like this. Also, you probably more people are interested in getting the airdrops that are often associated with these crowd loans. So what happens is these projects that you are voting for, if they end up winning their auction, a lot of them are promising or will be distributing an airdrop of their token uh, on whatever ratio they determined, uh, whether it's a one-to-one -one of how many Polkadot you've used to vote for them or what have you, um, they'll distribute th their coins to you according to your vote. Now, like I kind of alluded to in the beginning of this video, some things to pay attention to how you participate in these crowd loans if you choose to do so is there's a couple different ways you can do so on the native Polkadot, Polkadot blockchain using the Polkadot.js wallet. Uh, system, or you can do so um, on kind of these third party crowd load providers. A lot of these you can find on the official websites for the projects you'll be voting for, or you can do so on exchanges like Kraken and Binance. Now, the thing you should pay attention to there. If you're going to use an exchange, yes, they are very convenient and easy. A couple different things, actually. First off, you should know that you could potentially be locking your coins onto a centralized exchange for up to two years. That is, that could, I mean, in my opinion, that's pretty risky in and of itself. If the exchange will continue to exist for two years, who knows? Not to spread, you know, unnecessary FUD or anything. That's just a way of life here with crypto. A lot of things can change very quickly. Um, number two is that, because you're participating via a centralized exchange, will that exchange honor the airdrops? If you're going to be participating in these crowd loans on a centralized exchange, purely for the airdrops, you better make sure that they're actually going to be giving them to you. There's not a lot of clarity at all that I found if these exchanges will be honoring their, these airdrops. Essentially, that means that they will be listing um, those parachains on their exchange as well. And I'm not sure they can commit to that kind of a promise. Also, uh, if you're based in the US or a lot of these, these other kind of not so crypto friendly countries, you might not be able to participate through an exchange. That does not mean that you are not able to participate at all. And if you wanna know how to do that, please hit subscribe and stay tuned for the video coming out tomorrow because I'm going to show you how to do that. So anyway, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. If you guys enjoy this and found it helpful and informative, I appreciate it if you hit the like button. And like I've said for the third time now, hit subscribe with a bell notification and you'll be seeing me again real soon. Hope you're, uh, Until then, I hope you're staying happy and healthy. I'll see you.